My name is Michael Beto, and I'm a forensic firearms examiner with the Phoenix Police Department Crime Laboratory. All firearms that come through the Phoenix Police Department Crime Laboratory uh, require us as forensic firearms examiners to perform a function test. And this is a process to determine whether or not the firearm is functioning as designed by the manufacturer. So what we are mostly interested in collecting is the test fired cartridge cases which possess the microscopic markings produced by the firearm onto them during the discharge process. If a comparison is requested where there are shell casings at a crime scene, I can then take my test fires along with those evidence scene casings and put them on one of our comparison microscopes and try to determine whether or not they have a common source. So the best way to capture a, a fired projectile or fired bullet is via water. Uh, so what we're looking at here is basically a 600 gallon stainless steel fish tank. This allows us as forensic firearms examiners to shoot into the water and capture bullets in a pristine undamaged condition. So now I can utilize these bullets if I have samples for comparison to determine whether or not those evidence bullets were fired in this particular firearm. When I was in high school I took a criminal justice class where they briefly touched on what is forensic science and one of the topics was forensic firearms examination. Uh, I subsequently contacted uh, the closest forensic laboratory and said, what do I need to do to get into this job? And he says, go get a degree in chemistry and call me back. So that's where I went from there, uh, obtained my bachelor's in chemistry. Personally, I desired to have my master's degree. It's just a, always a lifelong dream to have that. So I then went and obtained my master's in forensic science and subsequently got hired on here as a forensic firearms examiner. And I've been doing this now for eight years. Education is of utmost importance to this job. The firearms world is full of tons and tons and tons of trivia. You don't have to already be a firearms specialist or enthusiast to get into forensic firearms examination, but you do have to be a scientist. As far as I'm concerned, I have the best job. I, I include two of my biggest passions, which is science and firearms. <laughs>